let's have a look in the toolbox. We've got wrenches, we've got screwdrivers, a lot of things that we might need to do a job. But when we go to do a job, we don't expect that we're gonna use everything in that toolbox, but we have them just in case. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, because on the rain gutter video, there were a number of people in the comments that said, hey, you could have done all that stuff without all that math. But let's think about that for a second. On the first attempt, I only got a quarter of a watt, maybe less. And if I didn't have the math, I might have said, well, I guess that's all there is. I can only get a quarter watt off of this section of roof. But the math told us that there were a couple of whole watts available, indicating we were just scratching the surface. And it made us take a step back and look at the big picture and attack it from a completely different direction, which ended up paying dividends on the next video. Now, I don't like math any more than anybody else. In fact, I have a reputation as an engineer for being critical of other engineers that rely too heavily on it. I mean, just because you have some formula or a piece of software doesn't mean it's gonna give you an accurate prediction of the real world. In fact, it frequently doesn't. But most people have the opposite problem. You ask them for the area of a circle, they go, ugh or use the Pythagorean theorem, blah. And that's because nobody told us the practical applications when we were trying to learn it the first time. And that's a big part of what my channel is for. I want people to know that a little bit of fabrication and a little bit of math can unlock your universe, allowing you to do anything. So the next time you see some math, dive in because trust me you want that in your toolbox i'm quint thanks for watching